to begin with have the cassette with the screws facing towards you and uh, all the tape is on the left reel and it will stop uh, the moment um, the transparent tape passes uh, the light sensor here but with with the hand uh, wind it up completely until you can go no further so do that first next thing is to remove these end caps here and the way to do that is to simply lift this end a bit there's a little spring underneath here so be careful that it doesn't jump away then lift this end here there goes the cap and there's the little spring take a good look how it's positioned because it needs to go back in the same position and store it at a safe place same here I always start with the side with the with the spring to lift that up first then this second okay and there's the other spring when there's a label attached here first have to peel that off or cut through the middle otherwise the two halves won't come apart then remove all five screws and then gently lift off the top Next, remove the small rollers. They are symmetrical, so they will always go back in the right orientation. Nothing to worry about. And then take out the reels. Careful not to unwind the tape. That's that. And as you can see, there are all kinds of particles here of the flaked off magnetic material of the tape and also inside here. Oh. You can also remove these, they will go back very easily afterwards. And then I have to first clean off everything. So with a br brush maybe with an air duster remove all the small parts This one has to go back on top with the screw holes. So, there. so this cassette half with the metal pins for the rollers goes first. Place back, place back the rollers. Like I said, they are symmetrical, so they always be in the right orientation. And then put back the reel. There's this one. And the tape has to go 
at the outside of this small plastic pin. I'll show you in a minute with a bit more detail. This reel goes here. And then an important thing to have this reel snap in, you have to manually uh, move the the, lo the locking uh, pin over so it fully snaps in. And then, like I said, the tape needs to go at the outside of this small plastic pin, both sides. Then the top part can go back on. And again, you need to push the, uh, the, the locking pin in to really have it snap in uh, at the reel and then check if everything is neatly closed ok that seems to be fine now the screws can go back in tightened and don't worry that you think I forgot these because they can be put in afterwards quite easily it's that easy but now the end caps have to go back on and I did this already a couple of times so I've developed some skills already maybe that you need a few more tries but first this spring goes back in in the left corner and with the there's a there's a long uh, end and the short end so the short end has to go in the small hole here okay like this and then let's see if I can get it done in one go and I with my my finger here I hold back the spring like this and then I place the end cap I first place it here as, as low as it can, can go in on this face don't try to put it on the, the pin uh, just now I place, it as low, place it as low as possible and try to feel on the other end if you can get the other end over over the over the pin over the plastic pin so yeah don't know if you can see it a bit like this and then move this one over this pin and then gently release your finger here and have it go upwards a bit There you go, that's one. Let's see the other one goes as smooth as the first one. Like I said, I already developed some skills here. First times I needed quite a bit more tries to get it done. But okay, grab it with your 
finger, pull it back, place the cap not directly on, on top of the spin but try to feel on the other end if it will go over the pin at the back and then have this one lift your finger a bit up and then let it simply go okay looks easy doesn't it <laughs> but you might need a couple of more tries than I did here okay there you have it as good as new